Hello Transformers fans, comic book fans, my name is David Lees and in this video I'll be looking at the new Transformers 84 Secrets and Lies uh, from Simon Furman and Guido Guidi. This is a fantastic comic book, I will say it up front, <laughs> lest there be any doubt. Um, it follows on from the one shot that we had last summer, I'm going to say last sort of October, September, October. Um, we had issue zero, uh, here's my autographed copy. Here's another Transformers 84 set around the time of the start of the war on Cybertron. Um, fantastic. This, this, if you haven't got Transformers 84, the issue zero, I can recommend that too. Great little story, a fantastic little story, um, narrated by Punch and Counterpunch um, about what happens to Cybertron. Um, sort of goes through how um, the war on Cybertron began, not in the boring Transformers Bold New Era kind of way, uh, but a lot of the backstories of the Ark, why Optimus flew on the Ark, uh, why all the other characters who joined him were there, you know, Brawn, Hound, Bumblebee, and so on. Um, and then led, led lovely, lovely, it's particularly well into the Man of Iron story that was featured in the UK Transformers comics uh, back in 84, 85. This is a follow on, uh, it almost follows, follows on almost directly. Uh, we again have Punch, or in this case, Counter Punch. Narrating, and there's more, of course, it's where he starts, but you knew that, right? Um, and he talks about being a double cover, double agent, deep cover uh, for the Autobots spying on the Decepticons, how occasionally he has to uh, done bad things. Uh, I could stand here and tell you it's not me that it's he that takes over, I'm sorry, but that's just not true. Um, and we'll pick up the story with uh, some classic characters. We have um, Skyfire. Starscream and Shockwave working on uh, this sort of planetary booster rocket, if you like, that will enable the planet Cybertron as a whole to charge in through space uh, some huge dreadnought. Um, so the, these are the scientists, you know, uh, Skyfire and Starscream, Shockwave working as scientists in uh, labs in Cybertron. And they're blaming Megatron, who is pushing everything towards the war effort. Um, but here, as Shockwave describes it, uh, with Cybertron unshackled from its orbit, these turbines would have taken us to other worlds, other advanced civilizations, where technology and resources we could assimilate. The rationalization of our chaotic universe, you see, Shockwave is actually a Borg. Um, resistance is futile, assimilatable technology. So, this is the plan, and if you recall back in the original. Transformers comics, they talk about these great explosions that knock Cybertron from its orbit. And I think it's right at the start of issue one. Uh, and this is kind of how that story develops, how it unfolds. But uh, they're getting ready to launch these, to fire these turbines, excuse me. Uh, but Counterpunch comes in and says, Megatron wants you in the Presidium. I will be there presently now. And uh, there's this picture of Cybertron, uh, shockwave burning with anger. Um, Megatron is not the least bit interested in turning Cybertron into a galactic dreadnought. He wants to go and attack. Um, we have Ratbat, who features the sound waves there. Um, looks like Skywarp, uh, Shockwave, various other characters. But Ratbat says it's inefficient on fuel to go um, attacking Tarnated or Stanics. So, name checking a lot of the regions of Cybertron as well. It's really well written in that it brings in a lot of the history you know about Cybertron and expands on it to make, it make sense. Um, but the short answer is that uh, Megatron is not going to endorse this idea of using these uh, huge turbines. Shockwave has other ideas and there's this huge explosion. Uh, which The explosion, probably the result of a stray missile strike or an underground fuel cache as well as the planet's runaway trajectory, directing it, sorry, diverting it into the path of Stelle Cemeterium, the graveyard of stars, also known as a rather large asteroid belt. Uh, so you can see how everything fits together, the collision, sorry, the explosion, that sent Cybertron hurtling through space and towards his asteroid field was a deliberate move, or, or, or an accident, mm, possibly, mm, mm. Um, <laughs> we'll see, um, and heading towards these asteroids, uh, the planetary turbines Lord Megatron could have fully operational correct our course with ease. Perhaps, Shockwave, but we have time enough to case the Autobots responded to this crisis. 
So Megatron is really playing a clever game. This whole thing was not an accident, um, not on Shockwave's part, not on Megatron's part. They knew what was th they were doing. Um, Ratback confronts Shockwave and says, this was no accident, don't con me. Uh, and Shockwave says, buzz off, in so many words. Um, but Ratback's off to look for his evidence. Here, meanwhile, we see the Nemesis being built. The Nemesis never was a vessel more aptly named. A lovely, fantastic, beautiful picture of the Decepticons. Uh, in their 1984 glory and Jetfire, sorry, Skyfire gets ready to go along ah no, uh, not you I, I need you to hear Skyfire there is a minute but critical percentage that something, percentage probability that something will go wrong in which case you must finish what we started mm, more yeah. deep and meaningful discussions so Punch goes to report to Prowl uh, explains that what's going on they know what's happening um, Percepti you of all bots will know what to do when you reach the turbines. Um, but as it's deep in what is now enemy held territory, you'll need a team of our demolition specialists. I thought it'd be the wreckers, the triple changes, but no. It turns out a most fantastic twist. It is Grimlock, Dive Bomb, Slag, Snarl, and Sludge, the Dinobots. Uh, Dinobots with a Y. I thought this was a really clever idea. I hadn't realised until afterwards that Simon Firm has used this device already to have the Dinobots and Cybertron without being dinosaurs. Um, but no, it took me completely by surprise. I'm delighted with this little twist. Um, so we have Perceptor and five demolition specialists. Um, I go tracking through Decepticon territory and set off a security trigger and alert Skyfire to their presence. Or Shockwave and Skyfire, as it were. So Shockwave zooms out of the meeting with Megatron, avoids boarding the Nemesis um, to go and rescue his. Um, interstellar turbine. Didn't mess, please, Megatron. Where is Shockwave? Should be here. Should be here. And you can almost hear him. It's beautifully drawn um, and scripted. So, Soundwave and you can see uh, Starscream, possibly Thundercracker, climbing onto the um, onto the Nemesis. And the cone heads behind. Here they are, thrust dirge ramjet, and they don't go onto the Nemesis because they say on Cybertron, uh, they go off to find uh, Shockwave, who Counterpunch suggests will be at the turbines. And off they go. So they don't go on the Nemesis. It all fits together beautifully. Um, there we are. Um, blast, uh, sorry, Perceptor picking up Blast debris. Um, it's a, yeah, we're not needed here. If this is in Decepticon territory, where are the Decepticons? Bang! Here come the Decepticons. Right on cue. <laughs> As Perceptor says, or uh, Slag asks, uh, yeah, yeah, had to ask. Dive bomb, a swoop, whatever you're calling yourself. Clever, like it. Um, get up there. Everyone else transforms into combat mode, so we have these sort of all-terrain armored vehicles that are the current Dinobots, and they transform. Swoop, dive bomb, whoever takes on Skyfire, whoever. And they launch their uh, aerial assault missiles. And this is, ha, not on your best day. I may be a scientist first and foremost, but I'm no slouch on the battlefield. Yeah, but huh, we're just the distraction. And this is a fantastic picture of Grimlock coming through, scything Skyfire's wing off. Massive explosion, down, out. Vroom! Proper 80s comic book style stuff. Mindless brutes, shockwave. Uh, not too pleased with the Decepticons. Sorry, I'm not too pleased with the Dinobots, excuse me. I don't know where my words are today. Alas, poor Skyfire, your mind is a terrible thing to waste. Soon, old friend, you shall rise again. I will see to it. It's not exactly soon, but in the original comic book series, we find that in this is my issue 37 of the UK comic, so I'm not sure how that translates to the US. Um, but this is a bit where Shockwave is in the arc. Uh, sorry, Shockwave's in Decepticon bases captured the head of Optimus Prime to extract the creation matrix from it. And he is trying to give life to Jetfire. Give him life or die. Um, but the problem is, that although Jetfire, in this case, has a personality chip provided by Shockwave, as we know, there's no creation matrix and he doesn't actually come to life. So that's a lovely tie-in. Shockwave really missed having... Skyfire, who became Jetfire, um, and extracts his brain module, personality chip, whatever you want to call it, um, and saves it for another day. Meanwhile, 
unfortunately. Uh, Perceptor managers to hide, isn't found, and cone heads, uh, ramjet thrust and dirge, come down and say, right, time to go. Here we come now, and uh, convince us otherwise. So, they do go onto the, onto the nemesis, um, all yours, and the transform fly off. But the thing about Shockwave is that he never had a plan B or C or D. Um, and so he already had other plans. Starscream some took Megatron is the problem. So Shockwave feigns uh, contrition. He says, yeah, yeah, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry and all that. And actually boards the Ark with the cone heads. What's going on here? This is not the way, he, this is not the way history was written. Um, well, Shockwave certainly doesn't much about the cone heads, but I think we can infer that they are going to climb on. And off they go. So, um, Perceptor calls in a rescue uh, craft from the Autobots. They load up the Dinobots, and you can see this uh, possibly uh, sideswipe or red alert, something like that, Ratchet, Cliff Jumper, um, all come and collect the fallen Dinobots, and they go on the arc, as we know. A critical bit of history. Uh, Meanwhile, however many brave sparks were getting ready for Op only Optimus and I knew it was a one-way trip to oblivion. Well, what can I say? To be continued. So there's more! We've got to work out what's going on. Why it all doesn't fit together like it's supposed to. Uh, fantastic battle between Grimlock and Shockwave, uh, which will feature, as we know, uh, and this is my Transformers UK um, issue 26, Ratchet meeting Megatron and revisiting the time when... Um, the Decepticons actually did manage to beat Shockwave. Shockwave flies down to Earth separately in his space gun mode. I apologise, this is all spoilers. Um, meets the Decepticons, sorry, meets the Dinobots. What is with me? Um, the Dinobots have a fight and uh, eventually there's a, a lengthy battle between the two, as captured in this rather nice picture here. So that's the next issue. Uh, cover A, which I've had cover B uh, by Casey Collar who, if you don't follow on Twitter, I recommend. Um, then Josh Bircham, his co cover, and J Jeff Senior. I will just say, Simon Furman has very kindly put in notes for all of the pages and all the comments and all the histories included. I didn't read this first time I read through, I didn't realise I'd actually put it in. Um, but it talks about uh, Cybertron as the Cosmic Dreadnought, Skyfire or Jetfire, why? Uh, Starscream and Star Skyfire are scientists, and um, and so on. It's it's brilliant, uh, including some bits I've missed out. Those are flying through the, the story. Uh, so recommend reading that promo for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles annual. Hmm. Uh, not my cup of tea, but there you go. Uh, comics anywhere you go. The Comicsology app. I've been using that during lockdown. Glad to have paperback. Uh, Transformers Terminator. I'm missing this one out as well. But there you go. That's an option to review. The new issue, or the second issue, of Transformers 84 Secrets and Lies will be out soon. I'm not sure when, don't have a date. But when it does, I will be back with another review. I'll try and get through all the other things I've been missing out during lockdown. It's been a frantic and crazy time for me, uh, but I will get to it shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Please do leave comments, thoughts, and ideas on what happens next. I'll be back soon. Transform and roll out. <laughs>